Let's build very simple 3D Pokeballs that you can pose, animate, and customize. Start with a circle. Use any size you like. For this example, the circle has a diameter of 4.7 inches. Remove the outline. We'll call this ball. Next, we'll turn this 2D circle into a sphere. To create a perfect sphere, we need to find the bevel width and bevel height values. You can get these values using a calculator. If you're using inches, just multiply the radius of the circle by 36. 1 inch is 36 points. And 1 centimeter is about 28.3 points. You can also find the equivalent radius in terms of points without doing any calculations. Here's how. Choose the angle bevel for the top bevel. Set the bevel width and height to temporary values so it's easy to see the changes. Now, adjust the width until the bevel converges to a point. This is the radius value needed to create a perfect hemisphere or a sphere. You can see this better from the side view. Copy this width value and use it for the width and height settings for the top and bottom bevels. In this example, this value is 169 points. Next, change the bevel type to round. Set the same value for the distance to ground setting to bring the sphere back to the center. Now draw the parts for the button. We'll use three circles. The first circle is the largest. Remove its outline and set the fill color. Duplicate this circle. Reduce the size of this duplicate and set its fill color. Duplicate the second circle. Reduce the size of the duplicate and set its fill color. Select all the shapes and align them. Select the three small circles and group them. This is the button group. Select everything again, and group them. We now have our Pokeball group. We need to set the distance from ground value for the button. Select the three small circles. Enter the same radius value that we got for the sphere. In our example, we set this to 169 points. Now select the Pokeball group and select the Perspective, Front, Preset. Rotate the model to view it from its side. Select the circles for the button and add 3D depth. 20 points should do it. Add a round bevel for the outer circle. Move it a few points back inside the sphere. Move the middle circle back a few points as shown. We're almost done. We just need to paint our Pokeball.
Select the Pokeball group and choose the perspective, front preset. Select the ball. Choose gradient fill for the fill color style. Choose one of the linear presets with four gradient stops. Click on the gradient stop for the top of the shape. Set its color to red. The two middle gradient stops should be black. Position one of the stops at 45% and the other stop at 55%. Set the fourth gradient stop to white. Now, move the bottom or white gradient stop to 55%, and the top or red gradient stop to 45%. Congratulations! We've created our Pokeball 3D model. For some optional fine adjustments, we can change the 3D material preset, or change the 3D lighting preset. Inspect the 3D Pokeball model. Nice! To change the basic colors of the Pokeball, simply change the colors of the gradient stops. Because the stops are overlapping, we may have to temporarily move aside the black middle stops to access the colored stops. Enjoy your simple Pokeball 3D model. To summarize, we showed you how to quickly and easily make a simple 3D Pokeball using PowerPoint with only 4 vector circles. You can easily change its colors, as well as pose and animate it to create amazing 3D scenes. Some of the important techniques we shared in this video are very useful for creating your custom 3D models in PowerPoint. Remember that you don't have to run calculations to create perfect spheres or hemispheres. Also remember the importance of having all components of your 3D model in a single group. All shapes that move together should be grouped together. Finally, the gradient stops are commonly used to make gradient fills. We showed a nice trick with the gradient stops that lets you create custom colorful stripes in a single shape. We have more secrets and nice tricks to share with you. Next week, we'll show how to improve the Pokeball 3D model so we can make more amazing customizations. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more cutting-edge PowerPoint art and animation videos. In the meantime, check out our gallery on Instagram to see more PowerPoint art and animation tips, tricks, examples, and ideas that we haven't shown here.